Well, from one NFC North team to the other, uh, Patrick Queen now going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, you know, quite the rivalry those two teams have. I'm sure Ravens fans are very broken up about this and Steelers fans very pumped up about this because Queen's a great player uh, coming off of a great season. I want to start off with this play as he helps in so many different ways. It's not just the, uh, you know, the, uh, coverage game. It's also the run blocking uh, or run defense game, I should say. Something like this is a good example of what he can do so well. So Creed Humphrey is going to move up to the second level to block Queen. That's what he's going to do here. Look at how when this play begins, you see that he's doing an okay job, but definitely Queen is kind of getting the leverage towards the top of the screen, which is where the running back wants to go with this rush, meaning that it's really not working out perfectly. You know, again, maybe the running back can adjust on the fly, but this is not exactly how Humphrey wanted this block to go. Luckily for the Chiefs, they have a guard who can get up to that, you know, next level and help out queen, right? You have that extra offensive lineman, but obviously that means he can't, you know, go where he wanted to go. So that uh, Baltimore player that is going to be Roquan Smith is now completely freed up to do, you, to be able to impact this play. As you see, it, you know, I don't even know if he actually needed to. The rest of the play worked well enough for Baltimore that they were okay there, but it just goes to show kind of the extra attention that Queen can get and what else he can do. Queen is definitely a very impactful player in the run defense game. And again, that's Creed Humphrey, who's, you know, debatably the best center in football, uh, probably is just the best center in football. I don't know who you, else you'd really debate. Really good player. But uh, certainly, you know, that's something that Queen can do. He's a, he's a very good player in his own right. Something like this is another one where it's an interesting play where uh, it looks like the uh, guard or the tackle is supposed to get up to the next level to block Queen. But spoiler alert, it's not actually going to work out that way uh, before this play begins. Watch as when the play does begin, you see that no one really gets up right away to block Patrick Queen. But again, it, it's okay. The Pacheco here is going to try and get around the edge and kind of sees this. So, you know, good job by Pacheco. He knows where he has to do go, knows what he's going to do, try and get around the edge. Here's the issue. Patrick Queen was drafted in many ways. You know, many ways for his athleticism. That was a big part of why he was drafted. And watch what he's going to do on this play. Watch him do an incredible job at getting to the edge and being able to make that tackle. There's just sometimes it's as simple as that for a linebacker. Sometimes it's just like, hey, you get an opportunity to make a tackle, make the tackle. Like, you know, sometimes we kind of overthink this stuff a little bit and talk about all these other things. But like, you know, yes, it is important to get in position, make a tackle, you know, read the play, all of that good stuff. But sometimes you just got to make the tackle. And that's certainly something that Patrick Queen can do, uh, both in the coverage game and in the running game. Although, obviously, you like to make tackles in the running game more than the coverage game because if you're making a tackle in the coverage game at some point something went wrong probably also play like this I think is such an interesting play before we even get into it so what's happening is it's man coverage but you see Patrick Queen I, I have I've circled him right here and you see what he's doing he's telling the cornerback who's currently on the edge hey what are you doing? That's not what you're supposed to do. Get over and cover the other player, Queen, who is going to cover the running back who is currently lined up outside the numbers. As you see, he eventually gets things shifted. There was a coach also yelling, but Queen was able to get things shifted and gets everybody in position right there. To me, that's a great example of showing just that he has the awareness you know, of his situation. And, and for me, a, a linebacker, a good linebacker is a smart linebacker, right? There's never in the history of the sport been a great linebacker who was an idiot, right? That just doesn't happen. You have to have, at least, you know, on the field, uh, you have to be a smart player. And to me, Queen does a really good job of reading these plays, which could not just help out himself, but perhaps help out players around him. The best linebackers also aren't just players who make plays by themselves. They're players who help the entire team be able to make plays. So now let's go over to Pittsburgh. Well, is this something that Pittsburgh needs? Does Pittsburgh need, uh, you know, uh, players who can come in and make plays? Well, I mean, a little, right? Like, it's it's it's, it's something that, they, that uh, every team could use. Every team could use a Patrick Queen, really. But is this a specific position of weakness, the linebacker position for Pittsburgh? Well, Let's talk about this play. So what's going to happen here is it's going to be a blitz. And in fact, both linebackers on this play are going to eventually uh, blitz Josh Allen. So, okay, that's the way this play is supposed to work. However, there's going to be a play action. And I don't want to be like, too hard on these linebackers, but it took them a second, right? You saw like that that took them a little bit to make this work. And when you have multiple guys blitzing the quarterback and it's taking you that long to get over there, you've essentially taken away the blitz. The blitz is not really happening at this point, which is bad for... 
two reasons. For one, I mean, you just, you know, the blitz didn't work. You didn't get the pressure. But the other thing is now you're basically giving Allen a free opportunity to throw the ball down the field. Allen finds a one-on-one matchup that he likes, and of course he hits it. So good job by Allen there. But also, you know, Patrick Queen's getting there quicker. I don't know if he's making a pressure. I don't know if he's making the play. It was well done by the Bills. But like still, that's just one of those situations where, again, I'm not saying it was a bad play necessarily, but if there was a you know good player who made a good play, that could have made a diff, uh, you know a bigger impact, right? I think that's fair to say. Also heading over to this play, this is another one where I kind of talked about earlier about hey, sometimes you just need a player to make a play to make a you know make a tackle. Well, this is a good example as it's going to be a wide receiver screen pass. So the two defensive backs in the area will get blocked. The closest unblocked player is going to be a linebacker here for Pittsburgh. And honestly, it's not a very well designed play by Buffalo. Look at how when it begins, you see that right here, there is a situation for this play to potentially work, which is, you know, okay, uh, good. Pittsburgh should feel pretty good about this situation, right? Well, watch what happens. As you see, uh, linebacker not able to get over there and make the tackle, so uh, Buffalo able to pick up a decent amount of yards instead. So again, I'm not going like, to crush the Steelers linebackers too much, but let's just be honest. They could use a star there, and like I said... Patrick Queen might not just help out one position. He could help out people around him. Other guys can now be in better position to make plays. You know, maybe instead of, you know, that first play where neither guy really was able to jump and try to uh, rush the passer right away, maybe both are able to because the other guy sees Patrick Queen doing it and follows him. You know, this was the uh, the thing about, like, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for many years. Why so many people thought Devin White was a good linebacker was because Levante David was kind of helping him out all the time, and then Devin White was able to use his athleticism to make plays. Well, Queen has both, but he can help out whoever's next to him, and a lot of times one linebacker uh, can kind of do the job of several. So, and I gotta be honest, it's not a ton of money either right now. So for me personally, like, I like this move. And I don't just like this move from the Steelers' perspective in that they're taking a star player from uh, a division rival, which, hey, that's a nice benefit. But I just like it in general. I think it's going to help them out. You know, the one thing you kind of look at a little bit is like, well, that scheme can kind of, you know, we have seen linebackers from Baltimore play better in Baltimore than elsewhere. We've seen that before. However, I think even if you get a bit of a dip from, you know, Queen not playing with Roquan Smith, which kind of goes that way too, right? I don't think Queen is dependent on Roquan Smith. I think that he's good on his own. And even if you do see a bit of a step back, I still think he'd be a good enough player and a good enough upgrade to justify, uh, you know, a contract that's, you know, what, four, uh, in between 13 and 14 million, not a massive deal for a really good linebacker, in my opinion. So yeah, those are kind of all my thoughts on Patrick Queen. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching.